moving. The, there's three types of movement. If we had time, we would do all three. Honestly, we're probably only going to get to two, but let's talk about all three. Short bursts of movement in order to get off the X, get off the line of attack. You're basically just creating some space or moving to disrupt the attack of the aggressor. And the goal is for you to retaliate and respond as soon as possible. The second type of movement would be moving over a greater distance, either away from a contact to seek cover, concealment, a better position, tactical advantage, whatever the case may be, or close the distance to engage. But you're moving and stopping and then shooting. Then, of course, they're shooting and moving at the same time. If you're doing both of those things at the same time, are you doing either one of them very well? Or maximizing your abilities? No, there's a compromise and a trade-off. So we're going to start with that offline of attack, getting off the X, whatever the case may be. Um, and let's think about those terms. What is what is the X in that statement? Okay, so if I'm your bad guy, everybody point at the X. If I'm the bad guy, point at the X. Point at my X. Okay, I'm sorry, yeah, point at my X. Okay, now watch, I'm gonna move off the X. Why'd you keep pointing right there? My, my brain says you're just right there. That's true, but where's the threat? Over there. I'm actually the X. You are actually the X. It moves, so when they say get off the X, they're, they're trying to really say, if I'm drawing a line at you, Ben, with my muzzle, and I'm about to shoot you, I'm creating a line of attack. If I pull a knife and I'm running at you, I'm creating a line of attack. If I'm going to kung fu chop you or kick you in the throat, I'm creating a line of attack. So the Brits call it lifesaver step. The lifesaver step. Because do you increase your odds of survivability if you move off that line yep. or stay there? Movement is life. Movement. Movement is life. We all agree with that. The point of this is going to be to move efficiently. So how have you guys been taught to move offline or off the X? Side. Step to the side. Just step to the side like that. Run off to the side. Run off to Create the side distance. meaning what? Create distance. Create Let's distance. What should we do with our hips? Turn them? Yep. Okay, what if my priority is both moving and retaliating or defending myself? Stay square though. I want to aim first and foremost because you think if Ben is attacking me, I'm going to be under an endocrine response, adrenaline, epinephrine. What's that going to do to my vision? No. Are my sights going to work for me? What do I need to start aiming with? Your body. My eyes and then my body. My eyes are going to lock onto you and then I start aiming with my body. So in reality, if Ben's my, my threat, my aggressor, the the guy attacking me, if I do this and try to retaliate, or this and try to retaliate, am I creating tension and affecting my primary or secondary aiming system? So I want to keep my hips and shoulders toward the threat, whether I'm going forward, backward, or laterally. So how should we efficiently move laterally? What do we do with our feet? Open and then close. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Crisscross. Shuffle. Is that is that best or is that best? Should we cross our feet? You shouldn't cross. You have a tendency Why? to trip. We have a tendency to trip. How, how uh, if I'm shuffling, and I'm balance, shuffling, and I'm shuffling, and I hit something like that, how did I catch myself? Cross, I cross my feet to catch myself to prevent myself from falling because that's what my body's always done forever. Raise your hand if you were in athletics as a kid. Did you ever do drills where you practiced crossing your feet? Okay. What's that called? In, in a game. For karaoke, right? Yeah. In karaoke a base, uh, basketball game, baseball game, football game. Did you ever move up and down the field or track a ball like this and then pick up a grounder? Did you do that? No, you crossed your feet and got set. But we practice that type of move to create stability 
and balance in our body and teach ourselves how to use our body. We don't naturally move like this. If I take a full mag and say, Ben, we're going to play dodge mag. <laughs> you cannot cross your feet. And, and I'm going to get one throw, and then you're going to get a throw, and I get to cross my feet if I want to. Who do you think is going to win? Smoke me. Right, because you don't naturally go, oh, I'm going to dodge a dodgeball. We've all played dodgeball. We've all played water, you know, had water balloon fights, and we don't go around a dodgeball court going, up, <coughs> up, I'm going to dodge that one. No, we move. We kick the hell out of the way. So why are we going to try to reprogram our brain and our body to do something that's not natural? Why on a range do we go, boom, boom? Why do we do that? Easy bullshit. Liability, safety, training to the what? We're not going to do that here. So we T call. So we expect you post, right? T call post. We expect you to move naturally. Move with a loaded gun the way you're gonna move without a loaded gun. And I guarantee you, use that analogy. If somebody's fixing to throw a bean your ass with anything, you're gonna move off. Now, in this movement, if Ben is attacking me and my goal is to move and retaliate at the same time. Should I move and then present the gun? Or should I present the gun and then move? Present the gun. Or do them simultaneously? Like that. That's the goal. It's a simultaneous draw or presentation as you're moving. Note the hips. I'm not gonna turn and then present the gun because my priority is to change your physiology and point a freaking gun at you and maybe shoot your ass if I have to. So the priority is the gun moving up, but also the same priority is moving and getting off that line of attack. So explosive movement is relative to each one of us. If you've never done this, or you haven't explosively moved in a while, or even if you have, your first reps need to be methodical. Hips and shoulders are going to stay towards your target. You're gonna get a command, that we'll, we'll demonstrate this in a minute, and you're going to move and present the gun at the same time. How far do you move? What should determine how far you move? Surroundings. True. Quickly, what should, what should determine? But if my goal is to move and then shoot his ass, what should tell me when to stop and start shooting? When you get the gun up on target. That's what we want. Christian. Sights on target. So if, if I do this, that's too, that's moving too far. Whenever my sights are, are on him, imagine your sights going, hey, dumbass, it's time to shoot, stop. Let me shoot. That's the goal. So it's an explosive, quick movement, short distance, just to retaliate and return that violence and aggression. We're going to turn a greater distance and turn our hips. So obviously, laterally, we keep the hips on. If I'm gonna close distance, I still keep hips on him. If I'm going backwards, what you see a lot of people do is turn and then turn. That takes time. Remember, FBI statistics tell us two to four seconds is all we have. So I'm just going to create distance and get the gun up. And you can almost use... Can you get that sling off? Oh, good. I'm just going to point the gun over there. You can almost, going backwards, use the gun, lifting the gun, to help yourself come back and get set. Same thing going forward. Drive the gun up. Let the momentum of your movement help present the gun in every direction. Guys, this is offline of attack. How far is Jared moving? A couple feet. Two, two steps. Sometimes enough not even two. Sometimes not even Just two. Just one. Boom. Enough time to get that weapon system up and on target. We're not turning and running. We're gonna to get to some of that later. This is quick, explosive, get the gun up. And this, this is why the stance itself is so important. If I'm squared off to a target, in order, to me for, in order for me to explode in certain directions, I may have to reset my feet and then explode. If I'm gonna go left, no part of me should have to go right in order to push off. 
But what about a drop step? Who knows what a drop step is? What is the purpose of a, if I'm going to go that way, of going boom? What? I mean, it would waste time. Well, it wastes a little bit of time, but what does it, what's the benefit? Uh, I mean, it sets your foot up farther back so you can push off. I push off. I literally stomping to generate more force. So there is, when you talk about movement, and movement is life, like Liam said, you need to study different methods of explosive movement. A drop step, or even just like falling over where you're leaning and just cross over. So footwork is imperative. If you haven't done plyometrics in forever, there's your homework, okay? So, everybody step back here on me. These guys are gonna get up here and show you exactly how this is gonna run. They're gonna be on about the seven yard line. When you guys get up there and dress it down, look left and right and just kinda of look at your terrain. And this is where you guys might go, hey, it's real rough here, can we move back just a little? So the way we're going to do this is the way we did kneeling and prone the other day. We're going to split the line in half, go odds and evens. While the odds are going, you evens need to be studying how people are moving. You'll notice... Get, some, get somebody to video you doing it and then look back at it. Yeah. You'll notice that... Or, or, do you think you're going to land in a perfect position? You may or you may not. You've probably heard you're never going to get a good stance in a gunfight, so don't worry about it. Try to tell that to any professional athlete. Say, oh, the pace of a game is just too fast. You're never going to get a perfect stance. They're going to say, get the hell out of here. They go do their homework to teach their body what perfect feels like so that every time they land, their body wants to default to what's perfect. But if these guys land and slip, they may shoot, but watch how quick they readjust and get set again because you want to reset everything in case you have to move again. This type of movement has relevance in every one of our lives, especially you guys that walk up on patrol stops. Because if you're walking up, hey, I'm Officer Seagraves, can I see your license? Registration, shit, boom. You see a gun come out, you're going to explosively move. And people say, oh, you should never move straight back. You should always move at an angle. What if you can't? So this is the foundation for learning how to move yourself, okay? All right, there will be, they're, they're about to go hot. There will be no surprises. You will know exactly what direction you're moving. We're going to start out laterally, then we'll go forward and back. It'll sound just like this. Okay, guys, you are moving left. You are moving left. Left, left, left! How far did they move? Now they're all kind of resetting, getting their stance. They're, they're taking in their surroundings, looking at the line in this environment to make sure people didn't move off at an angle and move up or back. Okay, all right guys, relax, reset back on your target. You're gonna come back to your target. Now you're moving right. Now you're moving right. Right, right, right! Five rounds, center mass. Okay, reset on your target. Now we're going to move back. Now we're moving back. Wouldn't hurt to glance over your back. Make sure you know what's behind you. Watch how far they move. You're moving back. Back, back, back! <laughs> Notice Liam just pretty much took one step to the site we're on target. Now you're going to stay right there. You will look left and right in case somebody went back a little farther. You'll kind of dress the line. Now we're going to move forward. Moving forward. Forward, forward, forward! Now again, you notice they're not ripping off the rounds and coming off the gun and searching and assessing. No, they're stopping. They know there's no threats. They're analyzing what they just built. Because you guys start with a good stance, you move, you shoot, then you, you had to reconstruct everything, check the integrity of it. You also need to resist flying off the gun and back on safe. 